Hamilton, a Hearthstone adventure! Howdy folks, my name is Richie, aka Bogotter. I've got some exciting Hearthstone news. So PAX East is going live right at this moment. And this morning, the team at Blizzard has announced the next adventure pack for Hearthstone called Black Rock Mountain. So I'm going to unpack all of the details, preview some of the new cards. So if you missed any of the announcements of the stream, stay tuned. I'm going to go over all the details. But first, I just want to say from a point of nostalgia for me as a longtime original World of Warcraft player, this is amazing. All right, so going into Naxxramas was super cool, but really, Black Rock Mountain is where it's at, right? The dungeons, Black Rock Depths, Black Rock Spire were in there, and then you also have the raids where Molten Core was, and uh, Blackwing Lair, and eventually Blackwing's Descent as well. But there's so much nostalgia, there's so many creatures and bosses and lore and, and stuff like that from, from, from those instances that just, I don't know, they really, really get me excited about this adventure pack. And it's coming next month. So the story that's going on with Black Rock Mountain, in case anybody has never played World of Warcraft before, there's this huge volcanic mountain, and the Dark Iron Dwarves, they're kind of like a nasty faction of dwarves, live there. And they thought it'd be a good idea to summon up uh, some powerful creatures from the Elemental Plane of Fire, and Ragnaros the Fire Lord comes in, and he enslaves the dwarves and brings all of his fiery buddies to reside in the core of the bottom of this mountain. And so, you know, players are going to be able to fight uh, bosses like uh, Baron Geddon is one of them even though he's already a card and uh, Gar and uh, I don't know Major Domo Executus there's a whole bunch of cool uh, figures from the Molten Core raid so but on the top layer of the mountain um, Nefarian uh, he's part of the Black Dragon flight he uh, he has his kind of uh, army and uh, minions there as well and there's Black, uh, Black Rock Orcs up there and so it's basically these two really evil factions that are live in the top and the bottom of this mountain so it's gonna be cool to see all of those uh, those cards and bosses interact and if you played the next Ramus uh, adventure pack it's going to work fairly similarly to how that worked there's going to be wings that unlock one week at a time uh, over the course of a month there's five new wings in total slight difference this time there's no free wing okay so they offered you a free wing uh, during next Ramus, everyone could get it if they just logged in during the release event. They're not doing this this time, um, which is kind of unfortunate. But I understand that they need to make their they want to make money on the product, and so they uh, they they tried out this formula of the adventure pack over the summer. Apparently, it worked really well. So now we're we're getting it again. Let's take a quick look at the pricing model. It's similar to how they did next Ramus. I and apologize, this is in U.S. dollars. I don't have other regions available. Um, all five wings is twenty four ninety nine, and if you look down in the middle the page individual wings are 699 or 700 gold i'm going to go over that in a second um so if you purchase an individual wing and then you want to buy the rest as a bundle there's also ways to do uh uh for the remaining four wings the remaining three wings and the remaining two wings to get a slight discount out of that so you can see all of those prices there now you can buy this entire adventure pack with just gold 700 gold per wing but they're throwing in this little sneaky uh, kicker here there is a pre-order bonus to get this exclusive card back which some people love and collect them and some people just really could care less what their backs of their card look like since it doesn't impact the game at all but what they're doing here to pre-order and I think you can pre-order on March 18th or 19th starting around then if you pre-order you get this card back really cool looking card back but the only way to pre-order is to purchase all five wings in advance for $24.99 you cannot unlock this pre-order bonus using in-game gold alone so it's a little bit interesting that they're putting this pre-order bonus in there and it's the only way to get it is to actually spend real money instead of your gold um, it actually might work on me sadly that's kind of sad when I think about that it might, I might actually spend the money rather than my gold in game I do have enough gold in game I think I have around 3500 which is what I would need to unlock the five wings but um yeah uh I, I guess it's a cosmetic thing really it, it shouldn't matter over much um it, they want to make some money uh off the game obviously people buy packs but they also can buy this card back if they pre-order so it's interesting kind of a different thing that they didn't do the first time next ramisters around but let's 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 forget about the pricing and stuff like that that's the boring stuff let's look at what we're going to be getting there's going to be five wings i think they said there's going to be 17 new bosses In week one we're going to have black rock depths uh that's going to start with the grim guzzler now the dark iron dwarves have a bar in the mountain and it's called the grim guzzler and there's a whole bunch of 
of rowdy patrons and, and stuff like that in there. So the Grim Guzzler is a is a boss itself, I guess, and we're going to experience a lot of cards and bosses that uh, you experience there in this uh, this very very uh, aggressive type bar. Uh, and the second. Uh, the second boss is going to be the arena. There was a uh, an arena in Blackrock Depths where they put a, an assortment of captured creatures against you, different trolls and different things like that. So I expect to see a lot of the creatures from uh, that uh, that encounter to be there. And then we get the Dark Iron Emperor himself. And uh, yeah, so week one is a three boss encounter it looks like and uh, looks super cool. I believe they said that week two is going to be Molten Core, which I, I would expect to have some dragons and some... Uh, uh, and some fiery elemental uh, bosses to fight against, and they really didn't cover what what uh, what the wings were for all of the other, um, you know, weeks. So we'll have to see what that is when uh, when when we get closer. Now they did preview some uh, cards for us, so let's take a look at the cards that they uh, have shown off. One of them is called the Dark Iron Skulker, and this is a rogue card. Uh, it's a 4-3 for 5 mana, so it's a little bit expensive for the stats, but with a really powerful battle cry. Deal 2 damage to all undamaged enemy minions, so it's basically like backstab. It's like an AoE backstab. This is going to be really interesting for the rogue, because there's a lot of uh, decks out there that employ a strategy of having flooding the board with just a lot of cheap, quick creatures and trying to rush opponents down. Well, the rogue has a really hard counter to that kind of deck right now. You just summon your Dark Iron Skulker in one fell swoop on turn 5, Five, or turn four if you have the coin you can kind of uh, get back into the game and, and kill a lot of creatures uh, and put out a decent sized body to boot so this is a really cool card for rogue Next, let's talk about the Grim Patron. This is one of the uh, denizens of the bar that we were just talking about here. This is a really interesting card. It's a neutral minion. Uh, it's 5 mana for a 3-3. Three, three, and whenever this minion survives damage, summon another Grim Patron. So he's kind of like a gremlin when you actually get them wet and they multiply. So you can put this into play and ping it with a mage and immediately get another one. Or you can uh, summon... Uh, you know, let's say you get two of these out and you're a warrior and you use a whirlwind and you kill, you hit both of them, then suddenly they're multiplying like crazy. So this card can get out of control. I have a feeling this card is going to be particularly nasty to play against. And he could probably win games single-handedly. So that's a, a rare card called the Grim Patron. Let's take a look next at the Hungry Dragon. There is a dragon theme going to be associated with this mountain. So uh, we have some cards in the base game already that have been uh, designated as dragon. Uh, so they already kind of prepared with some dragons already in this. But this Hungry Dragon has great stats for the mana cost. 5-6 for 4 mana is awesome. It does have a drawback, but I think it's a very small drawback. You summon a random 1 cost minion for your opponent. So I haven't really done the, the research and looked at all of the one drops you could possibly summon, but I don't think it's something to be overly nervous about. Um, but it is an interesting card nonetheless. I like that it's a random minion. I think it's probably a, a lot of fun to play. I could see this card getting a lot of play, especially if there's a lot of cards that interact with dragons. And speaking of cards that interact with dragons, let's look at the Blackwing Technician. This is a neutral minion, three mana. Uh, for a 2-4 creature, which automatically makes it decent, you know, they're never, they're, uh, th uh, two fours for 3 mana are never sexy, but, th you know, they are certainly playable, and this battle cry is, if you're holding a dragon, gain plus 1, plus 1, so if you have that, that hungry dragon in your hand, the Blackwing Technician is the perfect thing to play before it, you're gonna get a 3-5 for 3 mana, which is pretty awesome. And uh, let's wrap this up with probably the, the most shocking and awesome kind of card, Rend Blackhand. This was one of uh, the bosses in the Black Rock Spire, I believe. And uh, he's an 8-4 legendary for 7 mana. And he's got a cool battle cry. If you're holding a dragon in your hand, destroy a legendary minion. Doesn't matter what it is, who it is. Legendary be gone, Rend Blackhand. Uh, rides in on his dragon if you have it in your hands and this could really turn uh, the tide of a lot of games so i can't wait for this along with the new cards we're also going to be getting a new uh, game board it's going to be a molten core uh, black rock mountain lava based board it looks pretty cool of course what's awesome about these boards is what what can you click on what can what can you do uh to actually you know help entertain yourself when you're waiting for the opponent to go now we haven't gotten a, a video preview of this yet at all but uh, you can apparently summon a dragon and you can kind of uh, upgrade uh, one of the weapons in there. You can see uh, sul the sulfur on hammer up there. Um, so I don't know. I love the new game board. So this will be in the rotation. 
So in case you're not familiar with how the Naxxramas uh, Adventure Pack works, so a wing will come out with a series of bosses. If you defeat those bosses, you unlock new cards. And you also unlock the ability to do the wing on Heroic Mode. Now, Heroic Mode is going to cheat. and It's going to be a lot uh, more difficult. And uh, there's no new cards that you unlock for doing Heroic. But if you beat Heroic Mode on all of the wings, after all of them release, all five of them, then you get a new card back to show that you have defeated uh, the Heroic Mode. So I have a picture here of the, the different card backs so you can see. Uh, one of them is the pre-order. Um, that's the one all the way on the right. The one in the middle is for completing heroic mode. And the one that's on the left is the one just for getting to rank 20 or below during the March season of Hearthstone. So right now you can play Hearthstone, get to rank 20 or better before the end of March, and you will get that uh, card back on the left. Now, um, there's also going to be class challenges this time around, just like in Ramus. So there are 31 new cards in total. Uh, but some of the cards are class specific that you unlock when you when you defeat class challenges. What's a class challenge? It's basically a pre-made deck for a specific class. So you can do a hunt. There's a hunter one, a paladin one, etc., etc. And they've made you a deck, and you need to beat one of the the new bosses uh, with this deck. And uh, they're they're usually pretty gimmicky and, and and a lot of fun. I like the fact that you know you don't have to figure out ways to beat them or something like that you can just uh jump in there and you just keep trial and error until you till you go at it and that will unlock a class specific card when you defeat it as well so I, I think I covered everything here. I'm super, super excited. I can't believe it's going to be happening next month. Keep an eye on this channel here. Um, if it's anything like last time, I will probably be doing some guides on how to defeat some of the bosses and maybe even defeat some of the bosses with a budget deck for those of you who don't have a lot of the legendaries and stuff like that. So keep your eye on this channel, and I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, I'd appreciate you hitting that like, favorite, and all of that jazz, and I hope everybody has a fantastic day, and I'll see you next time. Take care.